One to Jams where hit music lives. All about Chat Trap right now, talking about what's happening in the media today. And Chat Trap is brought to you by the Village Drug and Beauty Supply and Village Auto Parts. Now you can shop one place for all your needs. The Village Drug and Beauty Supply store has it all. Hair, skin, baby items, grocery, and the household items. The Village Drug and Beauty Supply store is located at number 57 Alexandria Boulevard, Nassau Village. And now you can get 20% off the premium now, only at the Village Drugs and Beauty Supply Supply store. Call them at 393-3419 or WhatsApp at 441-3943. Talking about what's been hitting headlines today. So, the most anticipated documentary. We finally got a date for it. So this documentary has been a long time coming and now, oh, I'm so excited to see the date. So November 19th is the official date for the release of King Richard. It will be in theaters and streaming exclusively on HBO Max. So this title is named after Serena and Venus Williams' father and tennis coach Richard Williams. This movie will focus on the upbringing of the tennis icons, Venus and Serena Williams, through the lens of their father with a relentless drive and unapologetic vision to change the game. So Venus and Serena, along with their sister Aisha Price, are executive producers on the film that casts a light on their journey from Compton, California to superstardom and on the father that played a pivotal role in their success. So Venus and Serena Williams' father shared in the movie that he wrote a 78-page plan for their whole career before they were even born. As we all can see, that's definitely phenomenal, and they came from a very, very, very humble beginning. And he also explained to them that they will be representing every little black girl on earth. So this is one movie that a lot of people are super excited to see, and the fact that Will Smith is acting as their father. Who would have thought? Will Smith, come on, man. So November 19th, get ready to, of course, check this one out in theaters as well as on HBO Max. So talking about what's been happening in the community, LGBTQ. Oh, my gosh. So the baby has been causing a whole lot of controversy. So now... Performing at Rolling Loud Festival in Miami over the weekend. If you probably didn't see it or you probably didn't um, have any have seen any of the drama that's been going online with it, he had asked every audience member to put their cell phones light up, apart from those who were HIV positive or were gay men who had sex in car parks. Now, of course, if you watch the video, you realize that he used a, yeah, some of the words were a bit different with it, but he tweeted last night that his comments were insensitive, adding he had no intentions of offending anybody before offering his apologies. But of course, this only came after he got a whole lot of backlash from it, and even he was dropped by an online fashion retailer called Boohoo, who he had a clothing deal with. So of course, this is when his team more than likely told him, hey, you need to apologize because he was posting like videos or like captions, basically just stating whatever he said, he stand on it. And it is what it is until, of course, you know, all of this now started to surface and a lot of people just started coming for him. And it was just like, wow, even um, Dua Lipa, who we actually did a single with. Yeah, him and her. Yeah, I think he featured. Yeah, he featured on the song Levitating. And she also said that she was surprised and horrified. And of course, she does not agree with him. But even with this, you had T.I. and... Yeah, Boozy, Booz, Lil Boozy came out and they actually was agreeing with the baby and stating the fact that, well, they should be able to say how they feel too. The gays should be able to see how they feel and the straight men should also be able to say how they feel and no one should be judged seeing that Lil Nas is doing so much in the media that, hey, it should not be a big deal. And T.I. right now is saying that the LGBTQ community is bullying rappers and of course, you know, this is going to cause a whole lot more issues. But moving on to further news, apparently... Nicki Minaj is not a writer on Remy Ma's upcoming album. So congratulations to that because, of course, you know, that too did cause a lot of problems when people started really taking research and looking back into everything. But that's it for Chat Trap. Just talking a bit about what's going on in the media today. Remember that Chat Trap is brought to you by the Village Drug and Beauty Supply and Village Auto Parts. Have no fear. The Village Auto Parts is here. They have coaster bus parts, clutch discs, starters, alternators, tail lamps, brake rotors, American and Japanese vehicle parts. Only at the Village Hard Hardware store located at Alexandria Boulevard, Nassau Village. Just call them today and let the Village Auto Parts help you find that part. 601-4746-601-4752 or WhatsApp at 525-9159.